I'll sleep more in love, Chelsea Avery. It's a gorgeous day, way back in 2008, at a park in Fort Collins, Colorado. I'm sitting next to my boyfriend, holding a potato burrito. <laughs> He asked me to put my burrito down. Now, if you know me, you know that I take my food very seriously. But I listened, I put my burrito down, and we're going to do a switch my burrito. Here we go. Great. So I'm sitting on the bench next to my boyfriend, eating a potato burrito. And before I know it, he asked me to put my burrito down. And like I said, if you know me, you know I take my food very seriously. But I listen, and I put it down. And before I know it, he's down, on one knee, asking me to marry him. Oh. With tears of happiness splashing the inside of my glasses, <laughs> and my insides feeling very full of love, and a burrito, <laughs> I say yes, and wrap my arms around him. That night I fall asleep, very much in love. The next morning I wake up, and I'm smothered with questions. <coughs> When's the big day? How many people are coming? What kind of cake are you having? Can I come? Can I bring a guest? <laughs> How come no one was asking me what we were going to do to make our relationship a priority? Or what would make us different than the 50% of Americans or the 43% of Canadians whose marriages end in divorce? Beating us in the divorce rate as well as Olympic hockey. Well done, Canada! <laughs> a little overwhelmed, and very confused. So I started asking around for marriage advice. I received a lot of it in terms of work on communication, listening skills, forgiveness. When I asked my grandparents how they made their last 58 years of marriage survive, they said always take a honeymoon every year and never rent a two-person kayak. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have heard, never fall asleep in love, or no, that would, it's not the right one. <laughs> never fall asleep angry, you should always go to bed in love. And I like that, but it doesn't really tell you how to not fall asleep angry. So I took all of this information, and I've used it to help build our relationship. And thankfully I'm married to a man who wants to strengthen our marriage daily. And we've been together for the last seven years, married for the last three. And about two years ago, we started doing something different in the bedroom. Oh. Now, if you're expecting me to say some sort of sex is something, don't hold your breath. <laughs> we started agreeing to fall asleep more in love. Thankfully, we don't fall asleep very angry very often, so we have made a commitment to fall asleep more in love. So get your pens out, because I'm going to share four questions that we ask each other every night that has actually helped us fall asleep feeling more in love. The first question that you should be asking one another, what is your favorite thing about me today? Maybe it's that your spouse looked killer in that outfit, thank goodness they found our luggage. <laughs> maybe they brought that proposal at work. Or maybe they're speaking for the first time on an international stage. <laughs> thing about me today. <laughs> it's so important that you do this because it shows your partner that you are paying attention to how they're interacting with the world, that you're taking note of those big and small things that they're doing. And yes, even on those rough relationship days when you feel like you could go to bed angry, you must still find something that you like about them that day. Even if it's, well, at least you shower. <laughs> the second question that you should be asking one another is what do I like about myself today? Maybe you got up and worked out. Maybe you made that phone call you've been dreading all week. And some days when it's a little tough, maybe your favorite thing is that you got up and took a shower, and that's okay. <laughs> this one's a little awkward at first because we don't usually think about, let alone share with someone else, what we like about ourselves. 
But it's important that we do so we can increase our confidence, that we can pay attention to what we're doing in the world, and the things that we do like about ourselves. The third question that you should be asking one another is how did you give back today? How did you make the world a little better and a little brighter? Did you make a donation to your favorite organization? Maybe you picked up a piece of trash and threw it away. Or since we're from Portland, we probably figured out how to recycle it. Or maybe you volunteered your time to put on an amazing conference this weekend. <laughs> I believe that we should be leaving the world better than we found it each day. The fourth and final question to fall asleep more in love is what are you most thankful for today? Are you thankful that you woke up and the sun was finally shining? I was. Are you thankful that your fingers and feet function the way they're supposed to? That you get to go home to a warm bed tonight? If you're sitting in this room right now, you, like me, we're living in abundance. And I believe it's so important that we take note of these big and small things that we can sometimes overlook. So to recap quickly, in case you missed one, the first question you should be asking one another is, how, what was your favorite thing about me today? What was your favorite thing about yourself is number two. How did you give back today? And what are you most thankful for? Now, I do this with my husband, but you can also do this with your children around the dinner table, with a friend, even with yourself, in a gratitude journal before you fall asleep. When we recap and recount our days, we realize just how lucky we really are. So in about two weeks, Ryan and I will travel back to Fort Collins, Colorado, this time to break a world record. And I'm sure they'll take me back to that same bench, buy me that same Mondo Burrito. And it's so reassuring to me to know <laughs> that no matter how far we've come, or where we go to, these four questions bond us each and every night. Even when he's traveling and I'm in another city, we still do these same questions every night. So I'd like to invite you to seize the opportunity and use these four questions tonight to fall asleep more than enough. Oh.